हेलो दोस्तों मैं हूं रमेश चंद्रा डेट बी टेक फ्रॉम आई टी कानपुर एंड हैविंग टूडेज टॉपिक एज कॉन्सेप्ट डेल्टा प्लस लर्निंग एंड दिस इज दॉब्लम फॉर द स्टूडेंट हु आर preparing for IIT JE advance and seeking all india rank in between 1 and 1000 this is our physics problem number 2 on relative motion so let's start here is the question Let's read this problem. An object A is kept fixed at a point x equal to three meter and y equal to one point two five meter on the plank P raised above the ground at time t equal to zero. The plank start moving along the positive direction with an acceleration one point five meter per second. At the same instant, a stone is projected from the origin. With a velocity u edge shown, a stationary person on the ground observed the stone hitting the object during its downward motion at an angle forty-five degree to the horizontal. All the motion are in x y plane. Find u and the time after which the stone hit the object. Take g equal to ten meter per second square. So this is the problem, and. this is the level 6 out of 10 that i have given to this problem so let's understand the problem answer to the question is 1 second and the an initial velocity u is 3.75 i plus 6.25 j meter per second so let's watch this animation Once more, at time t equal to zero, the both start moving. The plank start moving at acceleration one point five meter per second square, and the projectile at an angle some angle with velocity u. At the time of hitting at t. the projectile hit the plank at an angle 45 degree with with positive direction of x axis in downward motion so let's have the solution for this problem let's say u is the initial velocity of the projectile at an angle theta let's say this is angle theta hence u component along x axis is u cos theta and along y axis this is u sin theta so these are the initial velocity component let's understand the motion of projectile along x axis so the equation along x axis must be u cos theta into t not and that must be and that must be equal to the length traversed by the plank where t not is the time at which the projectile hit the plank that is u cos theta t not is equal to 3 plus 3 plus the distance traversed by the plank that the distance traversed by plank and this distance is 0 half that is 1.5 a t square t not square so this is the first equation that we get and if you simplify this then you will get 3 plus 3 by 4 t not square and this is u cos theta t not cos theta t not so this is the first equation along positive x axis now after t not the projectile height must be 1.25 meter so second equation we can have that is 1.25 meter that is s 
is equal to ut plus half at square that is ut u is u sin theta t naught ut plus half at square is minus 10 t naught square. So 1.25 is equal to u sin theta t naught minus 5 t naught square. So we can have u sin theta t naught as as 1.25 plus 5 t naught square. So this is the second equation. Now third equation we will have we will have third equation the velocity component along positive x axis and the negative y axis must be same after t naught time. So there is no acceleration for projectile along x axis. So the positive x axis component must be u cos theta and that must be equal to the negative component that is mod of negative component is u sin theta u sin theta minus u plus a t that is minus 10 and t naught. Why we have put mod sign here since this is a positive component and and this is the negative component. So we need to take positive component. So this imply u cos theta equals 10 t naught minus u sin theta the first equation that we were getting was u cos theta t naught equals from the first equation we were getting as u cos theta t naught is equal to 3 plus 3 by 4 t naught square and uh, second equation, second equation we were getting, second equation was this much, u sin theta t naught equals 1.25 plus 5 t naught square, u sin theta t naught equals 1.25 plus 5 t naught square. Now this is the second equation and uh, third equation we were having for the component balancing that is u cos theta equals 10 t naught 10 t naught minus u sin theta. So these are the three equations that we need to resolve to find the value of t naught. Now to solve these three equation, you can observe the equation number one as u cos theta t naught and second u sin theta t naught and we can get from here as u cos theta t naught plus u sin theta t naught equals 10 t naught square. If we multiply this equation by t naught, then we will get this equation. So you can observe this this equation and from first and second we will apply the value of u cos theta t naught in this place and u sin theta t naught at this place so this become 3 plus 3 by 4 t naught square plus 1.25 plus 5 t naught square is equal to equal to 10 t naught square so from here you can observe one thing is that 3 plus 1.25 that is 4.25 is equal to we can cancel this 5 t naught square is 5 t naught square and if we remove point uh, if we remove 3 by 4 t naught square then it become 4.25 t naught square so as you can see t naught square is equal to 1 so t naught equals 1 second and that is the answer for the time and second thing 
that we need to find is the initial velocity component let's say ux and uy ui so you can observe that ux is u cos theta and ui is u sin theta if we put t equal to 1 in this equation then ux that is u cos theta you will get it as 3 plus 3 by 4 that is 3.75 and to get the y component of this velocity that is ui that is u sin theta if we put t equal to 1 in this equation you will get 1.25 plus 5 that is 6.25 so initial velocity of this projectile must be 3.75 i plus 6.25 j hence we get initial velocity and the time time taken by the projectile to hit is one second